Hey, Sagittarius. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sagittarius. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the six of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Sag, listen, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Clarify the six of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the six of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the six of wands. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming, something that catches you completely off guard, something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment, a moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or breakup. So, Sag, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Sag, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Now Sag, you're telling me that something is being brought to your attention here, some type of shocking revelation of a betrayal, and it may have caused a breakup. Hmm. Sag, you can tell me that maybe you're shocked that they're trying to get your attention here, Sag. And maybe you're thinking that maybe I'm over this betrayal. We'll see. Sag, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Sag, could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. Clarify the lovers for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. Clarify the fool. 
for Sagittarius. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially or this is a breakup. Now Sag, you can tell me this betrayal was that they took a risk or a chance with a partnership with work or business dealing with your finances here. Or Sag, you're telling me they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship with another other lover. And that's the betrayal that's causing a breakup. Sag, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone. To do some soul searching, introspection. Searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance. Going within, looking for answers. So Sag, could be dealing with a Virgo. But you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So sad, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here, Sag. <sighs> I feel like you just want to be alone and you're trying to do some soul searching, but you're all in your head, Sag. And you can tell me that you're stressing over what you were enlightened about, Sag. Sag, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Sag, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy. You're over the moon or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun. For Sagittarius, clarify the sun. For Sagittarius, clarify the sun. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Hermit again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that you just want to be alone. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the Hermit. For Sagittarius, clarify the Hermit. For Sagittarius, clarify the hermit. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Sag, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Sag, dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with here, I feel like something was illuminated. Something came to light here, Sag. And you're mourning, you're hurt. You're discovering some type of betrayal here, Sag. But because of this card, 
You can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played, Sag, because something could have came out here. And now you're doing some heavy-duty soul-searching on what you did and you caused this. You can tell me that you took a risk or a chance with another other lover and it's coming out. This betrayal is coming out. Because of this card, this reading could be vice versa. Sad, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries uh -huh, or a Taurus. But the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Sag could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift. Anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Sag, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with this emperor again. Hmm. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Sag, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting. Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Now, Sag, you can tell me that you're waiting to hear news back from maybe an opportunity with work or business. Because maybe you're ready to look to another partnership here. You're wanting to start new because your finances, something is going on with the finances here. Sag, you can tell me that you're waiting to hear back from this person. And if that's the case, did you cause this betrayal here, Sag? Did you have a chance to think about it, Sag? Sag, you can tell me that, hey, you took control and there's some news concerning you guys has already established commitment and you're just ready to look to see what else is out there because this person caused you a sense of betrayal. Sag, I'm going to take a look at the um, Twin Flames exposed for you. I'm going to take two cards, Sag, on your thoughts, feelings, or confessions, or their thoughts, feelings, or confessions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, dealing with a narcissist. Is that what that is over there? A narcissist? A controlling narcissist? What else for Sagittarius? Hmm. You just don't know how special you are to me. Okay. So. Hmm. You just don't know how special you are to me, says the narcissist. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the lover's oracle for you, Sag. It says, wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course here, Sag. So wait on something, okay? Maybe you're ready to just deal with some type of partnership here, Sag, but you need to wait. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. 
Sag, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.